Hello, welcome to Stuff Review with Kalina. Um, today I'm feeling pretty rough. I'm feeling rough, I'm feeling raw in the prime of my life. And today I need to boost my immune system. So I've got the kombucha still. I saved a little bit for the weekend because mm, I knew I was going to get fuckered. So heal thyself with cold kombucha. Mm. Heal me. Heal me. Mm. I woke up and my right ear didn't work. It's still ringing and it feels like there's water in there or like pressure. I can't hear <laughs> well out of that ear. So sleeping weird fucks up your body. Sometimes I'll wake up and my neck just is like totally cramped for no reason. Is there a way that I can sleep properly? Do I need to be strapped down to my bed? That's pretty kinky. Well, I'm wearing my French gown. <laughs> Am I looking very French today? Oui, oui. Because I'm having a very French brunch snack. This is something that you would get at a French bistro and it would cost you $17. <laughs> so here we go. I can't hear anything. I need to put the Q-tips in there and I still can't hear. Am I getting tinnitus? Tinnitus? Aluminium? <laughs> the British. Fuck the British. It's all about the French today. They're cool. They smoke and invent philosophies. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, a little more sip of this. Because I'm dying. Please save me. Literally. Okay, here we go. Avec la branche du français. Okay. Pork and goose pate. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I've never had pork and goose pate. It looks like cat food. And it has cranberries in it. So this is like a Christmas thing. Christmas in August. You know people start putting up Halloween decorations right now? Halloween stuff is already being sold at Walmart? Stop it. You have to wait um, until at least October 1st. So all the kids have gone to school. They've all thought of what their costumes are going to be. And then October 1st you can go for it. And same with Christmas decorations. You have to wait till after Remembrance Day. Those are the rules. I didn't make, I didn't make them up. They're society's rules. You follow what society says. You be a good sheeple. Pork and goose pate. Is there any sheep pate? Anyway, it smells weird. Ugh. And then I also got this cheese. I've never had this. White Stilton. I always felt like I've had the impression that Stilton was a really stinky cheese and this one has mango and ginger so this is like the craziest kind of cheese I could find that's what I'm all about for you guys eating the novelty crazy stuff I will do it I will try it once don't you worry you can watch my reaction so hard unripened cheese imported from England oh it's English no I thought it was French fuck off you fucking slag. One time when I went to England, I was on the bus minding my own fucking business, and this teenager was like, Oi, you fucking slag. And then he got off the bus. I was like, What does that mean? It's probably not something good. And the slut? And yes, it does mean that. I'm so afraid of teenagers. Not so much anymore, because Gen Z is really, really soft and asexual and cute and queer. Like, so cute, Gen Z. But what's the one, the kids that are like, I don't know, when I was afraid of teenagers. I think when I was in my mid-twenties. <laughs> and the teenagers were like 15, 16 years old. I was afraid. They could like see through your soul and they would make fun of you and eviscerate your self-esteem. But teens aren't really like that anymore. They're cuter and nicer now. Or they're just like so into their TikToks and so like um like Dorian 
Dorian Gray. They're all obsessed with their visage. So teens are fine. Kids are all right. Daddy's all right. Mommy's all right. They just seem a little weird. You know, it's weird. White stilted with mango and ginger with goose and pork pate with cranberries. I'm going the distance. I'm going for speed. She's all alone in a time of need. I definitely need something in my life, but I don't know what it is. I'm just going to fill it with food. Okay, one more sip of coffee for the road. One more sip of kombucha before I go to the valley below. Another Bob Dylan reference. And Jack White covered it too. And I'm, I'm guessing it's an actual blues song by a black artists that these white pasty motherfuckers are stealing from. Why don't you make your own songs, Bob Dylan and Jack White? Especially Jack White. Come on. Stop stealing. All of those uh, White Stripes album? Just stolen music. Unceded territory. Stolen music. Anyway, I've said my piece. Here we go. I put it on a plate. I prepared plating. Ugh, why is my camera so buggy? I'm sorry. It's because it's dying. Remember? So there's the cheese and the pate and these crackers. Oh, I forgot the cracker box. They're just regular sea salt crackers. Okie dokie. How am I going to do this? Use the cracker. Use the pate. Don't break the cracker. I do that a lot because I use too much force. Use the force. What is the force? I've watched all those Star Wars movies and I'm like, doesn't it mean just like shoving someone to the side when they're in your way? Force them out of your. Push her down, boy. Push her down. Come on, cheese. Maybe I should try each thing separately or should I just. Jam it all in my mouth like that. Yeah, I'm gonna treat myself. Oh my god. Oui. C'est bon. C'est pas magnifique. C'est besoin de. It needs a little sweet fig jam. Sweet fig jam, but I don't have that. And like, look, cheese has ginger, 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 mango, and the pate has cambari. It's not sweet enough. It's like sort of bland. Let me just try the cheese on its own. Big block here. Mm. Like you can see all the little ginger bits. Oh, that doesn't even work. I'm getting a new computer soon. I swear to God. It's not a hard cheese. It's soft. I just got it out of the fridge. It's soft. It lied. You lied to me! Motherfucker. What did you say? Hard. Unripened cheese. Ah, ah, still them. Protected designation of origin. Ha. Huh? Where is it from in England? Oh, I can't tell. Ginger, ginger mango. Yeah, I guess it tastes like mango. This has mango in it too. It doesn't really taste like mango. Mango, mango, mango. Mmm. Mango. Let's taste the pate. It's like cat food, right? Mm, the French like their cat food. The chef. It just tastes like mushed up bologna. There's nothing special about it. Mm. I'm sure this is what cat food tastes like. Do I need caviar with it? Sorry, I'm not made of money. Money doesn't grow on trees. 
I ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. We got bills to pay, got mouths to feed. Ain't nothing in this world for free. When's the appropriate age that you can like sublime? Unironically. Uh, I'm gonna make a little another cracky. Another cracky. With some cheesy. People would pay $17 for this at a French patisserie. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Nah. Not into it. It's like sushi, you have to eat it all at once. I hate putting too much food in my mouth because I oh I get scared of choking. <laughs> Duh, everyone does. And as soon as you start choking, you're like, oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die on this cat food. So I don't know. Hopefully, the fat, whatever is in this food, will help my body survive the long winter that is ahead. And for Christmas, you can't start decorating until after Remembrance Day. I think I already told you this. Just reiterating it. Can you wait till November 12th? Like bad people. <clears throat> I thought this was going to be a delectable affair of flavors and textures and delightful fanciness. I thought it was going to be fancy. It's, a, it's cat food and cream cheese. Literally. I don't like it, but I'm going to keep eating it because I don't want to waste food. There's children in Wuhan, China who are starving. Oh my god, this whole pandemic needs to fucking end. Do you go out with your mask? Do you go? Are you double vaxxed? Are you an anti vaxxer? You take the red pill. Uh, I don't know. Can we just all get along? I don't understand why people aren't taking the vaccine. Oh, oh. Take it. Let's do it. Let's eradicate every disease in the world. You're all one under the sun. I'm just gonna eat this knob of cheese. I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. In my Mother's Day brunch. If my children made this for me, I would be impressed. And I'd be like, Cracker? Oh, that's so sweet. I love you. Can you can you vacuum the house? Yeah, it's Mother's Day. I just want to lie in bed all day. Go on TikTok. And watch these hot teenagers do dances. Mm. Whatever. Say love you. Not the best. Eat some other stuff. Meets jam, meets caviar. Mwah. Mwah. Don't like the French anymore. I already told you how I felt about the French language. You beat it up. Give me oral. <laughs> I'm gonna get into that again. Okay. Uh, today's gonna be good because it's supposed to be raining out, and I'm done with summer. Bring on the fall, the fall comes in, let the rain fall, let the rain fall. This is the age of Aquarius, age of Aquarius. 
Aquarius, please hire me for your singing and dancing club, your musical Broadway theater group. I can do it. I did it as a child. I did everything as a child. I did musical theater, regular theater, dancing, piano, swimming, art class, shop class, home economics. I can do it all. I'm a Jill of all trades. Please hire me for your next gig. I need a job. <laughs> I'm perfect for your company. It's all about personality and who you know. It's how you get ahead in life. Ahead in life. You need your head to live. <clears throat> Alright, I'm rambling. I'm a rambling girl. I'm gonna go make a real brunch breakfast. There's a lot of cool stuff I saw on YouTube that I want to bake. It's like Japanese omelets and Japanese little milk duds and Japanese chiratsu or something. Japanese food just is like food porn. So I'm going to go watch my porn, jack off to Japanese anime food, because that's the best. Or the pizza from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Either way. I need real food. Goodbye. Okay,